What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do it fix Friday every Friday, and I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast in the middle of the week. Every other day, I do whatever I feel like, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me today. I am playing uh lucky we're going for lucky number 13 wins this is uh game 15 in my back to basics rank up series where we are taking my girl chiquita green face all the way from novice to grandmaster playing six player progressive unfiltered world domination on a variety of different maps uh today's choice map of the week is ottoman empire i think ottoman empire is a good progressive map not top tier but uh Definitely not uh, not a bad one. Uh, settings, World Domination Ottoman. Auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, progressive cards. Uh, we don't have any bots yet. Balance Blitz Dice with no Alliance, no Fog, no Blizzard. I'm in the third position. And in position number one, we have the green player taking the right-hand side of the map right off the bat. In position one, we have Oliver Tris Triscott from Germany. 131 hours played, 24 wins and 273 losses. That is below a 10% win rate. In position two, we have General Kapoor, 82-2-2, from Austria. 42 hours played, 36 wins and 98 losses. That's a little bit better, 30% win rate. In position three, we have my rank-up account. This is Chiquita Grinface flying the rainbow flag of the Seychelles with eight hours played, 12 wins and two losses. Uh, currently ranked as an expert, and we're going for the lucky number 13th win today. I'm in the third position. I'm going to take my turn. So... Uh, things you want to see, uh, things you want to notice about Ottoman. Ottoman is a triangular shaped map. You have three basic corners. You the right hand side, you the bottom, and the left hand side is a fairly deep corner in Spain. It looks like I am in three positions, or I'll have a play to be in three positions. Maybe four, we shall see. Um, so let's try to keep all of those positions alive. At least for a while. I'm going to get my take to gravitate towards the bottom. I'm going to take this one to gravitate towards the, the right-hand side. Um, given that green is here, I'm predicting green will take most of the rest of the right-hand side. And then I'll be as close to the corner with not without actually being in the corner. In position four, we have Haley Hale flying the flag France. 23 hours played, 11 wins and 24 losses. Another 30% win rate, good account. In position 5 of General Ba, 10145, flying the flag of Norway with 45 hours played, 16 wins and 79 losses. And finally, in position 6 from an unspecified location, J82A58 Bravo, 406 hours played, 274 wins and 876 losses. All right, so white player is my biggest competition in this game, and they go last, um, breaking the trend from all an all-European um, set of opponents. Okay. A very significant thing for you guys to pay attention to is happening over here. Sicily does not connect to Corsica and Sardinia. You have to go through Tunisia to link these two up. Here's how the bonuses work in Ottoman. Moran provinces worth three, Ottoman Europe worth four, African territories worth five, Arabia right in the middle of the map worth seven, and Asia Minor worth plus six. If you can hold it, you usually don't see anyone going for any of the bonuses except for the plus three, and it looks like black is going to try to flesh that one out. And let's see how aggressively they move to take the corner, because then I can get my six out of there. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six for three. Not the best deal in town, but it's the only deal in town on this board that you could realistically hold. All right, so white is distributing their troops in a number of different locations. Looks like white's going to be in four places. And he also is kind of gravitating out of the corner, expecting that green's going to try and take that. I like to let my opponents take their corners because what it does is it reduces the size of the rest of the map, making um, available kills more available for me when the time is right. Uh, review of basic progressive strategy. The key to winning in progressive is killing your opponents, taking their cards, and matching in in turn, such that you can kill more opponents or 
they can't kill you, or at least it's not worthwhile for them to do so. We move on to the second turn, green player. Looks like they're going to hit either my one, yeah, they hit my one in Mech and Medina. Bucking the expectation that they were going to take the corner. Green's going to lose these exclaves, and then they're going to be in two places on the right-hand half of the board. What does black do? I predict black wants to go for this bonus. Let's see if I'm right. Add to the six gold pop pop. Reinforce out. Maybe they just want to bot out. I don't know. We can waste our turn. So they changed. Um, so they re they reset the leaderboard. So y'all, if you if y'all uh, look at your accounts today and you see it rank zero, uh, you just have to play a game to repopulate on the leaderboard the way at the skill points that you were at before. Um, your rank will probably show a lot. Uh, you'll be a lot higher placed on the ladder um, because as people are populating the leaderboard, more people will populate ahead of you. But for the short term, you can enjoy that nice low number. Um, yeah, looks like black bots. Okay, having a bot on that side of the board. No, oh, take the corner. Okay, I gotta get my six out because I am now one of two places inside a bot continent. We don't want that. This is fine. I link up here and I can connect to those two positions. So I'm gonna put two troops here. Then put one troop here. And my third position is going to be in Europe because I will have a bot on the left of me and I'll have green on the right of me. I'll preserve the two. In this situation, here's a, here's a thing to, to share with you. So the decision making is I think it's more likely for me to lose the two than the three. So I pull the two into the large stack first. When you're, when you're trying to do a split reinforcement to consolidate. And I will be doing the three position play for a triangular board. Apropos. All right, looks like red would like some of the African provinces. Also looks like black really won't have any occupation on this side of the board into the late game. So black's gonna take this bonus and then because they're a bot, they're going to expand out of there. So it is wise for me to get out of their way. Purple still in four places. But isn't bolstering the two. Okay, it looks like purple's going to be playing the three position play. It's got that four sandwich up in the corner. Or are they moving all their stacks towards the middle of the board? Where does this three go? Up into Egypt? Yeah, okay. So we have a seven and nine right next to each other. Um, my gut will tell me that purple's going to move through into the center of Arabia and start single stacking in the middle of the board. I don't love single stacking. On this map, it's not the worst plan, though. Single stacking right in the middle means you can hop out to the sides and make the kills, right? So let's see if it works out for purple. Is purple good? Purple is reasonably new by the looks of things. Okay, we can see. White player thinking about what to do. It's a big 10 stack in Palestine. And moves to consolidate. In Syria and Lebanon? Where is that one? Syria. There we go. And black player down to 14 troops. Okay, so green's like, well, if nobody's in my corner, I'll take my corner. And they keep five troops in Turkey. That's where they get their tank? Or are they going to pull into the middle? Ah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. And they waste troops. And they waste more troops. All right. Piss away your troops. Well done. Okay, so green's going to be in one position on this side of the board. Black's going to be in one position on this side of the board. As I predicted. Now let's see what happens. I'm going to lose this. That's why I got out of there. Yep. But black's not going to finish the bonus quite yet. 
they'll do it next turn. Okay, I am in three places. Take the bot out of there. And sitting with two eights and a seven. Pretty happy with this structure. So after the third turn, we are looking at exactly what I want to see in terms of my board positioning. Um, I have a, I have three almost equal size stacks. Um, I am almost effectively tied for the troop lead. One or two troops off of purple. And I have a bottom position, I have a middle position, and I have a left position. Or you could call this middle, you could call this right, because the only effective player to the right of me is, is green. So this is my right, this is my bottom, and this is my left, so to speak. So for the triangular position, we're doing a uh, three-point play. Uh, for, rather, for the triangular map, we're doing the three-point play. And yeah, so it looks like purple's going to single stack, except they, they have an exclave. So purple's doing a two-position game, but one of them is going to be strong, one of them is going to be weak. Strong central position in Egypt. Seems good to me. I like Egypt. Nice big territory. Right in the middle of the board. You can attack out in all directions. Sitting with 17 troops. <coughs> all right. Yeah, white's doing... Uh, White's doing something similar. They're a bit closer to themselves than I am. I'm sneakier. So my stacks aren't quite that large yet. They're not scary, and they're in different places, so they are not overtly threatening to anyone yet. The The moment I turn to become threatening is... They hit some purples. White's going to single stack in the middle of the board as well. Why, why are you over-attacking? No, they double stack. Okay, so white is in two positions now. Expecting that greens can expand out of this corner. They want kill lines on black. That is a reasonable move. I'm going to move my stack here. I want kill lines on black too. Yeah, notice these sea lanes, guys. Uh, Greece attacks south to Tripoli. And... Um, what's the territory called? Cyrenaica and Tripolitania. The Roman names. Um, this territory attacks south to Sicily, and this territory attacks south to Corsica, Sardinia. Okay. Um, green is holding on to the kill on white and, and black in the corner. Black does take a bonus. Okay, I have kill lines on black. I don't have to do anything else. I can sit right where I am. Okay, so if I'm here, put a troop there, put a troop here, and I think I attack up. No, because I don't. I really don't want to be threatening to green. I, I attack over, which puts me in effectively the same place. Yep, uh, nine and two eights. At the end, the fourth turn. Black player also set in early, so they're holding a bonus. This might make them not the fish. And it might help me make kills on other players because black can expand on this side of the board. Okay. Red moving their stack south. Going to sit in Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa with, 17 with 16 troops. Okay. So we have... Uh, two of our opponents now single stacking. Green on the right, black on the left. Black still has an exclave. Green does not. Am I lined up to kill green? Let's see what the sets are going to be like. Okay, so black already set, got the four. Who gets the six? Green gets the six, which means I get the eight, all things being equal. Uh, purple breaks. All right, we have a break. The bot will not get strong. Purple takes the corner. If you hit him too much, you feed the kill to somebody else. Let's 
white player adding troops there. Gonna block my nine in from being able to do anything. Okay, and switches to a three position play. But all in the middle. So it's a three position mostly contiguous. If I pick this off though, that makes for an easier kill on white. I am in three true places. That is the saving grace, guys. The way I like to build um, my positioning in progressive is I want to be separated from myself as much as possible in the uh, by the end of the mid game, which just makes you hard to kill. Okay, so white lose an exclave in there. I'm going to take out their exclave here. That moves to Iran. No, that moves to Afghanistan. Okay, or northern Pakistan. Durrani, it's called in this map. Afghanistan, northern Pakistan is a territory that was apparently once owned by the Ottoman Empire. Who knew? Um, <laughs> we can look that up in our history, for, in our history books for accuracy. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. I will add one there. Just hanging out in Oman. Um, I get my other takes. Here, so I have two nines, or rather three nine stacks, and I'm trying my best not to be threatening to green, but there's really nowhere else for green to go, so if this position is expecting to live very long, I'm going to have to move it. Green also matches in, but at least they get the low match. It looks like nobody else is going to match in early, so I am going to get the eight. Blackbot matched in early, got the 4, which means green gets the 6, I get the 8. Red will get the 10, purple will get the 12, and white will get the 15. And then we shall see. I, I assume nobody will make kills in the early matching sequence. And then we shall see who is able to get the kills. It looks like white is the fish. Can I get them? Five cards might be worth it. Okay, we're hitting black. Black down 22. See, white having a single contiguous position is quite bad for their game. Can I kill them and take the five cards? I don't know if I can do it with just eight troops. That's the problem. One, two, three, and there, and then one, two, three, and then add there. It's close. 29. Gotta kill 29. I don't think I can do it. It's very close. <laughs> but I don't think it makes sense to kill 29 to get what would be, what, 10? 10. And then I would be in a single position in the middle of the board and everyone would kill me. So no, I don't think that's the move. I would love to kill white, though. Because they actually have ours. Ooh, are you setting up the kill on black? All right, all right, all right. Does this change things? Maybe red's an easier kill? Maybe red is an easier kill. Gotta take 26. Okay, so Black is in a single position, holding 19 troops. They're going to have a third card, but I'm not well lined up to kill them right now. Can I get lucky and kill Red? So I don't have to add there. I can add here. Ooh, kill on Red. Again, too close. 26 to get 10. I don't do anything. So I wanted to kill red. You go like that. And then down. Wanted to kill white. Neither of those plays made sense to me. They were too marginal. 
But it would have been nice to do them. It would have been cool to pull off. All right, let's see if I got a set. Red sets and gets the 10. I do have a set. Now we're talking. All right, so I'll be, I'll be first on the button on the big trades, and I'll be able to make a kill for sure. Probably black by the looks of it. As long as black doesn't set in, I'll take four cards. All right, purple sets in. Maybe they kill black right now. They look pretty lined up to do it. Yeah. So they're going to go up from the 15, 1, 2, and then they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, they're killing black. They're going to set in again and get the 15, which means white gets the 20, unless purple's able to chain this kill into killing white as well. Yep, this works. Let's see them do the split wrong. Tack down and run out of time. Too bad. Run out of time. Okay, they fed the kill to white. This is bad for me. White's going to get an easy kill on black and double trade. They're going to get the 15 and the 20. As long as I don't die, at least I get the 25. Yep. White gets the 15. Yep. Easy kill on purple after that. Okay, first player to die is black. Saving grace, I'm holding a, a set on three here. Okay, they get the 15 and the 20. Do they kill purple? And set and get the 25. It looks like they're moving too slow. Do we see it? Yep. Yeah, you see how everyone's getting fucked up here in Sicily? They do a single thing. They are. They are killing purple. Similar sitch, though. They might run out of time. No, they got it. 5v3 wins. 3v1 wins. 15v7 wins. How much is left? And 12v3. Okay, we get two kills for white. This is now starting to look bad for me. Just don't hit me. All right, unless green trades, I think I have to eat them. Green does trade. Okay, green's the three, which means I get the 35. Will it be enough to save my life? I can kill 35 troops. I can kill red to get three cards, set myself up to trade again. The question is, does that make me too weak? And then do I get eaten by someone? So uh, my move, I think, is to kill red and then split. So don't hit my 13, bro. Yeah, don't hit my 13. Don't hit my 13. Don't hit my 13. Just let it out. Just let it out. I will leave. I will leave. I will leave. I will leave. I knew this was coming, too. Yeah, he hits it. He doesn't hit it. Sick. Okay, I can kill red. Okay. 
And I'm going to do it nice and slow, because I don't want to scare anybody. into the far corner of this map. Can that connect? If that can connect, then yes, then I can hook my troops all the way around. And hide. Now if either of these guys have to kill me, they have to dedicate and get all the way there. Holding four cards, got a match, looks good. All right, now what? Green expands out of their side of the board. White isn't fast enough to kill me. White holding four cards, 71 true set. Uh, match point is 40. Okay, looks like I don't die. We are in a three-player balanced endgame. I, I have a slight lead. Green's going to take their bonus. No. Green just gets an easy take. Does this connect? No, that's buried. Okay. With a 36 and a 26, and I'm holding way too much of the board. White's going to set in 104 stack in the middle. Do they start punching me? You would figure they have to, right? No, they start punching green. No, they punch both of us. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to hit my 26. White is bad. Good. White is a bad player. Excellent. Break my bonuses. Just don't hit my 36 and you feed the kill. They are. They're going to suicide. No, not like that. Now you're trapped. Good. Now you're trapped. Hmm. Okay, so they just locked their only stack. So I better not open that. Right? Your intuition would tell you that the 55 goes down, but it doesn't. That stack is locked. It only connects this way and that way. Oh, how do I win, though? That's the problem. How do I win? I mean, I have to kind of pray for another set on three, which I'm not going to see. You're trapped. You can't get a card. Ha ha ha. Okay, this is good for green. Green can kill me is the problem. Not really moving. He doesn't realize that he can't get a card. Moves the stack out. Doesn't face me. Now what does green do? 
Oh man, I gotta survive two turns. I don't think I can. I don't think I can survive two turns. What do I do? I put a uh, troop here to get a take there, and I put the other two there, because this is the furthest corner. The fact that Spain is still alive means that either of these guys actually have to dedicate time to, to punch me. Are going to take his bonus when when White is staring him down with a 61 stack? I think White kills Green. And there but for the grace of God go I. So, yeah, my play is good. I'm going to get a single one there, so guaranteed take in this territory, and the rest go in Spain. Um, white player sitting with 81 troops, staring down more than green has in total with a single stack. Um, there's no reason why... Set? Set. Good. Yeah, he kills green and sets in. Yep. Okay. Oh, he fucked up! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He just punched him. He didn't act. Okay. So the move for white there would be to kill green. He didn't. If green doesn't set in now, I win the game. You set in now. Good. Green gets the 50, which means I get the 55. Does he punch white? Does he punch white? I mean, white has three cards. I can take them. That would leave me weak to green. Don't hit my fucking stack! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's better. Feeds me green. Or feeds me white. Okay, I win now. number 13. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You found some good fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. A well played and a good game. If you are interested in getting better at the game for risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays. Every other day I do whatever I feel like. Defeating a novice, two beginners, and two intermediates. And we are still an expert with 13 wins and two losses. I hope you all enjoyed and until next time. For all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.